Who do you think keeps me productive? Notion. Who do you think helps me run the agency? Notion. Who do you think helps me create content on time? Notion. Who do you think has changed my life? Notion. Who do you think helps me last longer in bed? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Boys and girls, this video is not sponsored by Notion, but anyways, I'm going to tell you how I use it to run my business and how I use it to keep myself productive. Let's go. Hey there, my name is Akshat Tongya. If you are a returning user, keep escaping normalcy. And if you are watching me for the first time, please consider subscribing. Notion is an all-in-one productivity, team management, project management, brainstorming tool. So basically, it does a lot of things, but I'm going to keep it simple. And here is how my Notion framework looks like in three, two, one. Okay guys, so as you can see on the screen, this is my Notion over here, open in my Google Chrome. So let's start the Notion ka tour and this tour we will do in three parts. First, let's talk about how do I manage my team using Notion. Then we'll talk about how do I maintain my content creation framework and strategies and structures on Notion. Then we'll talk about how do I keep myself productive and how do I track my goals and habits using Notion. So let's start by talking about how do I manage my team on Notion. So let me quickly collapse this over here. As you can see on the left side, guys, there is this tab called the team, D team, uh, which you would like to say. Then I'll collapse this over here. So as you can see, guys, there are different client day-to-day -day tasks that we track using this particular template over here. So number one is Jim's removal, which is one of our clients from Australia. Then there is Produce Logra, which is one of our real estate clients from Washington, DC. So essentially, the reason why I use this particular template, you guys, is because this helps us track day-to-day -day tasks. It helps us to figure out okay which person is responsible to responsible to complete which particular task on what day. Because it happens when you're working with three, four different people in a team, you can use text-based chat application to use all these things. If you're using Slack or WhatsApp, you can't do this for two and four times because for this client, you have to deliver so much time to this date. Ko deliver karna hai. It gets really hard, it gets really hectic and that is why this particular template over here is live saver for me. It saves me a lot of time on a day-to-day -day basis where I have to deliver my work to the clients using the help of my team. So I will give you a quick example of how we use it. So as you can see uh, over here on the top, it says produce look group. This is our produce look group table. So as you can see in the first column, it is to do. So uh, we write all the content that we need to create, all the strategies that we need to create. It comes under to do. On the right side, the next column says person responsible. So I click here like this and I tag the person whoever is responsible for completing this particular task from my team essentially. On the next column, it is comment. So if there is something specific that I want to point out for a particular daily task, I just comment over here. I tag my team member so they know what I'm talking about. Next column is about paste the links here so we paste all the finished content link over here so whenever in the future if you want to you know go out and check okay what what was the content piece that we created we can quickly come to the notion we can click on the link and we will have particular finished content in front of us we save all our content in google drive so google drive link opens up and we can access a particular content piece right the next column that we use is of tags where we can you know kind of tag okay what is the status of a particular task it is is it in progress is it deleted is it completed what is it right that's what tags is used the next and the final column is due date where i mention the due date and the time when i need that content piece from my team no delays because i have to deliver it to my clients right so that is how guys i manage my team using notion i have this very basic table which has person responsible comments links tags and due dates right that is all that i need and i have created it personally for myself there are a lot of different pre-made templates on Notion that you can use for team management. You can create one for yourself if you want as well. But I think this works pretty well. It gets the work done. It helps you manage my team and everything is basically you know, structured in a very nicer and efficient way over here. Now let's move on to the second part and let me tell you how do I maintain my content strategies and how do I you know brainstorm my content for all the platforms, Twitter, on Instagram and YouTube. Essentially, those are three platforms that I'm creating content on uh, in the present moment. So let's dive into and let's open personal branding, right? So if you will see in the personal branding, you guys, there is Twitter, there is YouTube, there is Instagram, and then there is podcast, right? Let me take you through all four of them one by one very quickly. So if I go and inside Twitter, here are all the threads that I've written for my Twitter profile, right? I have kind of structured everything over here. So if I go into, let's say, thread on book reading, so I just write down my thoughts inside over here. So I have a documentation of my thoughts as well. And I can then just copy paste all these texts 
into Twitter application and I can post to threads, right? That is how I maintain my Twitter pretty basic, pretty neatly done. The next one, guys, is YouTube Video Tracker, which is the most hectic one. It takes the most amount of work. YouTube is one of those platforms which take the maximum work from recording the content to editing the content to publishing the content to optimizing the content. A lot of things are involved and that is why I use this particular template over here. It is called YouTube Video Tracker, right? So as you can see inside video title, these are all the videos that I have created this year essentially. So I think I've created seven to eight videos. So let me take you through how a particular video is structured, how it is scripted, how it is recorded, and what are all the things that I like to keep in my mind before I publish the video, right? So let's start. Let me give you an example of this one. I registered my job offer and made 3x money, right? As you can see over here, you guys, everything is available inside this particular template, right? Keyword, sponsored information, editing check, sponsored information. I don't have any sponsors at the moment, which is fine. Then there is editing checklist, then there is publishing checklist, then script. So if I go into script, this is the script that I've written for a particular video. So when I'm recording the video, I quickly open it up on my screen over here and I record the video by speaking in front of camera, right? That's how I do my work. Other things that we kind of structure over here is research and note if there is specific research that we need to get done for a particular video, we do it over here. Then there is editing checklist that, he, that we have. I used to use this particular checklist when I used to record and edit my videos on my own. But since now my team edit my videos, they don't use this checklist anymore. But this is a great thing to have to, you know, basically know, okay, now A roll is, A roll is shooted, the B rolls are shooted. This is what we need to edit next. This is the next step. So you never get lost and you know what's the next step in launching a particular video, right? So that is how basically guys, I use my YouTube project tracker. Everything is over here. Then there is basic status is it published is it scripting is it on a role is it on b role is it just ideation is it just an ideation phase are we editing it what's the case right then there is publish date if we have any sponsor which we don't again no sponsors someone sponsor us right then there is tags okay so i tag i like to tag my videos by you know maybe is it productivity is it money is it breakdown is it instagram is it marketing what I am essentially talking, what is the macro topic I'm talking about in a particular video? I sometimes tag it over here. So I have the clear idea in my mind. If, if it is not clear from the video title itself, right? That's how we go about it. We sometimes paste URL over here or we just paste URL inside. That's how we structure and create videos. That's how you are able to see these finished videos that you're seeing on YouTube, right? This is the secret. This is the secret. YouTube video tracker is our secret, right? Next one, you guys, is Instagram, one of my favorite platforms. So as you can see over here, I just, you know, pasted this image of my whiteboard. So at the start of the year, I created a very basic strategy, took a picture of it and I pasted it over here so I can remind myself of the strategy that I created at the start of the year, right? There are some things to keep in my mind that I just posted over here, all the experiment, make sure the content is valuable to the audience, create content majority of the time around marketing tools and strategy, which is my niche and which are the subjects that I, I like to talk about. And I like to share with my audience, share your journey, frequently try new edits, use three to five hashtags and eight to 10 comments on niche hashtags every day. These are a few things that I do. Uh, then if you go inside real tracker, this is where the magic happens, guys. All the reels that you see on my Instagram page start from over here, okay? If you can see on the left, there are content ideas. So if I go into, let's say, inside, let's say, marketing case study, Red Bull, if I open this, this is where I script all my reels because reels sometimes take a lot of time to research because I have to go to, you know, different articles on the internet and take the relevant information out of those articles and paste it over here. Then I kind of structure it so it sounds beautiful when I'm speaking it in front of camera and I'm editing it. These are all the reels. And if you have not checked it out, check out my instagram page and follow me if you, if you do not follow me yet so yeah that's what we do these are all the content ideas these are the categories is it trending hot is it informational is it around freelancing or service business is it around content creation because these are few topics that i, I like to talk about so this is the category column then there is again status is it published is it recording is it editing is it scripting what is the status of a particular reel in our team so all our team members know where we are at and what are the next steps that we need to take right very efficient very structured, right? I kind of created these extra columns at the start because I got extra ambitious and I was like, I will track all the comments that I've got, comments, likes and shares and saves I've got on a particular reel. But as you can see, after two, three reels, I was like, I do not need these anymore and I and stopped filling these. But I'm 100% sure if someone fills this religiously, it can be very useful and you can use this to, you know, come up with great insights that you can use to improve your reels probably, right? Okay guys, so that ends the content creation part of this particular Notion tour. This is how I use Notion for my content creation journey. Now the next part you guys is for my personal things. So I'll quickly take you through some of the things. So as you can see the side projects, well, I'm not going to open the side project because some of you are sneaky bitches and you might steal some of my projects. So I'm not going to open that. 
but uh, if you move down there is something called accountability so my roommate from college named sakit he also does this marketing thing he is also in content creation he also has his own agency so we get on a call every saturday and we talk about what are the things that we want to achieve in the next one week so we basically have an accountability partner and we structure everything inside this accountability tab over here, over here as you can see the next one is habit tracker so what i like to do guys is i like to track all my habits right so as you can see today's tuesday so i did my workout i didn't do meditation I didn't take any sugar in certain body and I read a book today right I read some book I did the reading I read 5 to 10 pages right so that's what I like to track I highly recommend you track it as well because at the end of every week it gives you a clear idea okay I meditated two times this week right so then you can try to improve it the next week because you will never be able to realize how much you have meditated in the entire week and if you do not track it if you are not aware of it you will never be improve the frequency of a habit that you're trying to cultivate and you want to basically instill in your life at a more better rate and in in more amount right to main apni habits yahan pe track karta hu aur i will recommend ki tum apni bad habits bhi yahan pe track karo theek hai agar tum bahut zyada netflix dekhte ho agar tum porn dekhte ho to tum use yahan pe likho aur tum use track karo ki tumne week mein kitni baar netflix dekha tumne week mein kitni baar porn dekhi aur whatever your bad habit might so basically you have a clear idea of what are the things that you want to eliminate what are the things that you want to do more of and that is why i use this habit tracker template that you are seeing on the screen right now moving forward there is this one tab called books to read so here are all the books that i would like to read i think i think i kind of you know took this template from founder of virak he has this great list of all the books that helps him in running his startup so i thought why not just copy this template and keep it with me quickly go through this and i can figure out okay if i want to read something from let's say investing okay let's read mastering the market cycles so this is a great list of books i have also added some of the books that i want to read personally at the end of this so this gives me a clear idea of all the books that i am interested in the subjects i am interested in and i want to read in the future right the next is things i want to learn so here are a few subjects that i am interested in storytelling youtube ads basic advertising investing email marketing copywriting and all that you can see on the screen the goal is to actually read a lot more about these subjects this year in 2022 so i get better at these skills slowly and gradually so that's just about documenting the things that i want to learn so i do not get distracted and i'm always focused on those few things that i am passionate about moving forward you guys this is just philosophy x meditation there is this one book from marcus aurelius called meditations which is a very complex vocabulary book so i kind of read that book and i wrote down the concepts written in that book in my own language in the easier language because uh, it is about the philosophy called stoicism and i am a strong believer in stoicism it is one philosophy that has helped me immensely in my life in my personal life and in my professional life so i always come back to this particular template over here and i read uh, this to practice stoicism every now and then this is a great notes that i made from that particular book so that's about that at the end there is this template called tool stack where i just mention all the tools that you know might be helpful for me in my agency in my content creation journey and in my startup so as you can see number one is automation website builders email automation tools funnel builders course hosting platforms so whenever i'm scrolling twitter if i find any tool that i think might be useful for me in the future i just come over here and i write it down you know because not all tools are useful for you in present but they might be useful for you in the future right so that's how you guys i use notion for my personal goals for my personal projects that i want to work upon the personal things and the knowledge that i want to gain for myself one bonus at the end you guys i am going to show you how i use notion for my agency how do i use notion to run my agency quickly right so as you can see over it is called plus media that's my advertising and automation agency so what the goal with this particular template you guys is to put everything inside this particular template about what our agency is about who are the clients we like to help what are our offers who are our potential clients database of that what are our onboarding call scripts what is the type of content that we like to edit for our clients at plus media what are our values what is our brand voice what is our brand positioning i am going to document everything in this one particular template so whenever i hire a new person in a team i can just share these documents with those people so they know exactly what plus media is all about and i do not have to talk to each member again and again every time i hire and explain them what plus media is all about ye mera bahut zyada time bachata hai kyunki mujhe bar bar unse baat nahi karni padti i was like acha theek hai ye lo link check out what plus media is all about so you get a clear idea okay, okay this is how i have to think about 
क्लॉज मीडिया राइट टू गिव यू क्विक एग्जाम्पल अगर तुम देखोगे ऑन बोर्डिंग कॉल के अंदर मैंने एक स्क्रिप्ट प्रिपेयर करी हुई है ठीक है तो एवरी टाइम आई गेट ऑन कॉल विद पोटेंशियल क्लाइंट आई यूज दिस स्क्रिप्ट और अगर मेरी टीम के अंदर कोई क्लाइंट से बात कर रहा है तो दे कैन यूज दिस स्क्रिप्ट इन द फ्यूचर अभी तो बस मैं करता हूँ मेरे क्लाइंट से बात बट इन द फ्यूचर अगर मैं टीम के अंदर ऐसे लोग हायर करें जो मेरे पोटेंशियल क्लाइंट से कॉल पे बात करेंगे दे कैन यूज दिस स्क्रिप्ट बिकॉज आई नो दिस स्क्रिप्ट वर्क सो आई कैन जस्ट शेयर इट विद दम फॉर एक्जाम्पल इफ यू कैन कम होम डू यू वर्क विद राइट सो वी आर वेरी क्लियर दट वी वर्क विद क्रिएटर सो वॉन्ट टू स्केल दिन इन्फो प्रोडक्ट वाई पेड एडवर्टाइज वेरी मच बेसिक but very clear so it is important for me to document everything for my agency so we can then scale the agency very efficiently in the future when we are at that place where we have to scale very aggressively and very fast okay guys so i told you everything about how i personally use notion in my business and for my content creation journey and for whatever i have just told you notion is a very complex tool you can do a lot of stuff using notion you know you can use a lot of pre built templates you can build templates the way you want you can build templates according to your own personal use case so i would highly recommend you go check it out and explore it on your own to see how it fits for your workflow and how it fits for your day to day life and the goal here is to not just follow what i am doing the goal is to make your life easier using the tool right all the tools are here for make our our life easier okay it is not about copying someone else it is not about copying the way i am using it it is about figuring out the sweet spot for you so that you become productive you become more productive using the tool and you make your life easier using this tool right so go explore the tool link will be in my description that's all for this video if you found this video insightful make sure you smash the like button if you are watching me for the first time subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you do not miss videos like this in the near future that's all for this video i will see you guys next time